I'd rather you wouldn't fly in the pose and you learn to use your core muscles with this right elbow free. So for most of us, that means this right hand has to be off to the side quite a bit. And it may mean that it's not on the ground until you start to lift your hips up. You see, my left hand is prepared, it's ready. My right hand is ready to be, to be uh, in the pose. So I lift my hips up and then I place my right hand fully on the ground. You see how wide my hands are? And turned out, fingers grip the ground. Now look where my knees are. You see how my knees are facing you? They're facing the fingers. They're facing forward. Now, most people when they do this, they drop the hip, the pelvis, turning off the left uh, obliques. Instead, hike your left hip up using your left obliques, then lean forward into your fingers, pull your knees into your chest. And again, left hip hikes up to the left shoulder. Right knee pulls to your right armpit. Okay, so bottom knee, pulls towards the armpit, top hip hikes up towards the opposite shoulder. Those two actions in tandem lock in the pose and make it feel, yes, I mean, certainly feels like a lot of strength, but it feels light and powerful. Let's go the opposite route, a little bit different variation. Put your legs in here. And I find that this variation helps the upper hip a little bit, the upper obliques to engage. Um, but it also helps you activate TFL significantly on the bottom and the abductors on the bottom, which for a lot of people gives them a lot more access. This time your knees are apart, okay? And this becomes a little bit harder to set up the hands. So what I usually do is I lift my butt up first, place the left hand all the way down and the right hand off to the side. Then I pull the strap apart like this. So you see I'm, I'm coming in more on a side action rather than a forward action. So you see I go across, lift this leg up by pulling the strap apart, lean forward to my fingers, and I use my obliques to hike my left hip up and pull the left leg away from the right, getting the abductor group active. TFL, especially in that variation, is gonna be fired up and your obliques as well. Uh, last of the traditional side crows, we're gonna place a block between the shins or a, the upper thighs. Same setup as the first one, a little off to the side and in front. And I lift my knees up as high as I can, my butt up, I stick my butt to the sky, squeeze the knees together, lean forward in the fingers, squeeze the knees together, and same action. Left hip hikes towards my left shoulder, right knee squeeze up towards my left shoulder. So left hip up towards my left shoulder, right knee up towards my left armpit, Pull those, so left hips hikes up to the left arm, uh, shoulder. Right knee squeezes up into the left armpit. Those two actions while squeezing the block.